All right, in this video, we're going to further dive into the SEM Rush um, SEO audit tool and what types of things we need to be looking for and how we're going to fix them. So um, this is a great example. I'm working on rebuilding one of my websites right now. We rolled out our new Ballon Real Estate websites and showcase pages, which are incredibly awesome. They have automated... Um, uh, link boxes up top, like pricing tables, which we have tested and measured that um, is great for the user experience. And um, any any type of call to actions on the top of the page are getting the majority of the clicks, of course, b before the scroll and the fold, and especially that, that way on mobile. And so I'm having to rebuild about 4,000 pages in total, um, of course, which is a real pain, but very valuable long term. And so what happens is when we do these types of things, depending on how we, um, how we send the old pages to the new pages, how we handle our redirects and, um, and, and the, the overall structure of that is, can create errors on our website. Now, so, I'm actually glad it's doing this because um, I want to show you how to, how to fix some of the standard errors that we see our SEO company when we're doing um, audits. We see these types of things a lot on websites and people don't realize how many broken links they have and uh, redirect chains and loops that are, are continue circling and causing challenges on your website. So I'm going to show you how this works. So in this particular um, audit, we just did an update. This is a, these are new these little errors here, and they're all really stemming from um, a few of the pages that I changed yesterday. So what happens is we create a new page on our website, and what we need to set up is a redirect telling the telling uh, the search engines, if anybody clicks on, or telling the World Wide Web, if anybody clicks on this link, instead send them over here. And it, it essentially just says, the old page is no longer going to pull up. It's only going to forward to the new page, these redirects. Well, depending on what other types of redirects you have set up and where you have these links throughout your website, it can, it can create these chains of redirects and they, they end up doing these circles. So um, here's an example of the redirect. Yesterday I built a community page for uh, Sun City Summerlin. Okay. And I'm directing from the old Sun City Summerlin to the new page. So what it's showing me here in this column is this is the page we need to look at that contains the link over here that is the problem. Okay, So we need to go back into this page and find this link and make the repair. Because if you look over here at the chain of URLs, you can see that there is already a redirect going from this old URL, this old long URL that we had changed, um, that's going, then it was going over to a new page of Sun City Summerlin that we had built when we did community pages. Then we redirected that um, over here, and that's what's causing this, this loop. And so we need to go in and change this original redirect so that it goes to the new page, okay? So what we do is we just click on this little blue arrow and it'll pop open into a new tab. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and click edit. And I also deactivated table press yesterday since I have these new automated pricing tables. So let me get rid of that. Okay, so now we're going to scroll down. We're going to click, um, I'm going to do the command F and type in, um, I'm on a Mac, so I'm going to do the, the find find feature here, and I'm going to find um, Sun City Summerlin. Okay, so right here. So now I need to find the link. Here's one right here. See that? Okay, so I'm going to right click, open this in a new tab. So you can see already it's trying to redirect from the old page to the new page, and it looks like I actually have the wrong. Um, I don't want it going to Sun City Aliante. I want it going to Sun City Summerlin. So let me just go ahead and get back here to the pa correct page that I want. And we want, uh, let's just go here. Find my correct page here. There it is. 
Okay, so this is the new page. This is the new page I wanted to go to. So I'm going to come up here. I'm going to paste, copy this URL right there. I'm going to go back over here and I'm going to un I'm going to remove that link. And then I'm going to put back the new one. Now I need to see if it's anywhere else because I, I may have it somewhere else too. No, it looks like that was probably it for Summerlin then. Let me just do a double check here. And I can tell because your links are usually either underlined or highlighted or a different color of some sort. Okay, yep, looks like I got them all. And then I'm just going to click update. It's that simple. So now what happens, I'm going to go ahead and hide this one for now so that I know that I've done it. And when, when I rerun this report, it will go back through there. And um, whoops, I just hid one I don't want to hide. There we go, undo. So when I go back and rerun this report, um, those will be cleared up. And so anytime I'm doing major changes on my website, I'm, I'm running these SEO audits continuously to see if there's any, um, any mistakes anywhere that, that made sense, that, that need corrected. And as you can see here, the second one that has a problem is also for that exact same link. And then this one is for the parent page of that link. So the only problems that I came up with are those few, page, those few that I made yesterday. Here's another one, Sun City Summerlin. So anywhere I have a link on other pages to that page is where that redirect loop is that I've got to go in there and fix. And it'll take me probably 10 minutes to correct all, all, 10, um, all 10 of these redirect chains. So that's what I wanted to show you today. Keep watching the YouTube channel and um, also the lesson plans in theballonmethod.com. And I will keep showing you how to run these SEO audits and how to make repairs on your own website so that your website is healthy and stands the best chance of ranking on the search engines. And please keep Lori Ballon team in Las Vegas at Keller Williams um, in mind if you ever know anybody that needs to buy or sell real estate in Las Vegas, Henderson or North Las Vegas, Nevada, Lori Ballantine would love your referrals. Just give us a shout. Thanks so much.